So we're going to start off by discussing curves defined by parametric equations. And I'd like to you to consider this example. So you may notice that uh, this curve here, curve C, fails the vertical line test. But the x and y coordinates of the particle are functions of time now. So this is the way we're going to start describing it. So instead of just x and y coordinates, we have our f of t and our g of t. And there, there's two really important things uh, to remember. So with parametric equations, now the graph tells when we are a point in time. And the graph gives a gives a direction. And so we're going to start moving into this environment. And we can say that x is equal to f of t. And y is equal to g of t. And these are given functions. And we now have a third variable, which is t called a parameter, and these are the equations we simply use to describe it. And so at each value of t, uh, this determines a point on the xy um, curve, and we can plot this using the, uh, the coordinate plane. So as t varies, x and y, the point we get, will, will vary as well. And so we'll start with uh, a simple example here. So we've got x is equal to the, the function of t of t squared minus 2t, and y is equal to the function of t plus 2. So the first thing we do to start working in this graph is we'll make a little table. So we'll have t of our variables, we'll have x, and we'll have y. And so, we'll break these up too. So we'll just we'll just start. We'll just start plugging in values for t and see what comes out for x and y. So at t equals negative one, and then we have negative one squared, which is just one, minus two times negative one. So one plus two, so x coordinate will be three. And negative one plus two, so the y coordinate will be one. And that is our first point, so let's find that now. So x is 3, so 1, 2, 3, y is 1, up here. And that is at t equals negative 1. And so we're just going to keep doing this. So negative 1, now we're going to have t is 0. So at t 0, we have x is 0, so 0 squared minus 2 times 0. And we have y is equal to 2. So this is our next point now. We have x0, y is 2, and we're just going to get a few more. So at t is 1, we have 1 squared minus 2. So we've got negative 1 for the x coordinate, 1 squared minus 2 times 1. And we have 1 plus 2, so we have 3 for the y coordinate. So negative 1 and 3. So this is at t equals 0, and this is at t equals 1. And let's get, uh, get another few points here, just so you can start seeing this curve come, come to life. So 2 squared is 4 minus 2 times 2. So 4 minus 4, so x is 0. And 2 plus 2, y is now 4. So 1, 2, or 1, 2, 3, 4. So it's going to start heading back to the right. t equals 2. And let's just do one more. So 3. So 3 squared is 9 minus 2 times 3, so 6. So 9 minus 6. x is 3. And 3 plus 2. y is going to be 5. So x is 1, 2, 3 y is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so somewhere about up here at t equals 3. So we've now got our curve and we can start filling it in. I'll try to trace this as best I can. And so now we notice that uh, this actually has a direction to it. So the direction is heading left, 
And then it, it turns around and we've got a, a and then it turns and we head to the right and this is our curve so so this is the environment where we're just going to start working in and uh, you can notice from this that the uh, the particle in this case traces out a parabola and this can actually be confirmed if we eliminate the parameter t 